Hello. Hi guys. Um, welcome back to Two and One Is Us. Um, we are so happy that we um, been able to uh, share some videos already with you guys. Um, and so today we wanted to talk about a new topic, um, and it's actually about social media and marriage. How does that look like? Um, and the effect it has. Um, it could be positive, negative. Um, and for what we have witnessed, um, I believe has more probably negative than positive. So we wanted to take some time to actually talk about it. Um, and so, honey, what do you feel about social media and marriage? Mm, social media and marriage. I feel like if it's not used uh, wisely, um, it could be a big waste of time sometimes. Um, you could be looking at your phone and later on you realize that it's been 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes goes by and things need to get done around the house, kids are running around and everything's you know passing you by and here you are just looking at your phone yeah so i feel like that's one of the biggest issues one of the biggest problems with social media yeah i mean there, there's so many um different apps that you have available that has to deal with social media and um there's a lot of good to it right you get to connect with families uh you get to see what friends are up to um, you can actually communicate with them. Sometimes it's hard through phone or seeing them, but you know through that kind of um, help us somewhat communicate. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, the the effect on it it has more of a negative weight on it than a positive. And mm -hmm. the reason why I say that is just to um, join my wife in what she said. And I think is that it really robs a lot of the time that we could be doing something mm -hmm. positive or investing more time within our marriage mm -hmm. um, and there, there's a lot of things that um, we spend time in um, in other people's life and issues and drama that we actually um, ignore the things that we are dealing with or that we need to deal with and so um, it just robs it it, it kind of like sucks the life out of you yeah. and you don't even have time um, to be able to discuss things with your wife um, or your husband because you're so wrapped up in other people's issues that have drained your um, communication and uh, your desire to even speak to your wife. Mm -hmm. And so how important communication comes into marriage is, is a big deal. Right, right. I mean, and it's not just only like people's issues or things and so it, that you're looking at. It could be anything, anything, because like I was saying earlier, like you could be looking at your phone and 15, 20 minutes goes by when you could have used that 15 and 20 minutes to have a healthy conversation with your spouse, to encourage your spouse, to build up your spouse, to edify, um, to do something with the kids. Those 15, 20 minutes could have been outside playtime um, with you to enjoy with your children as opposed to sitting down looking at your phone and letting them play by themselves yeah we're, we're fed constantly with so much information and garbage in our life that um, it truly has an effect in us um, there was uh, something that um, I've read before um, just about entertainment um, the quote went um, that we are amusing ourselves to death and um, I think that's that applies so big in marriage. Like we amuse ourselves, we entertain ourselves so much with the things of the world and things outside of our marriage that our marriage becomes dead. Um, mm -hmm. There is no life in it. There's no desire. There's no enjoyment. And um, I think a lot has to do with social media, man. We are so involved, and there's so many open doors uh, just to distract us and um, just to to create relationships that don't need to create right. uh, or need it to, to be built or, or anything like that or, or catching up with old friends and old relationships that we have and so um, when we look at it, it could be a very negative and and I want to say this carefully because um, couples that might be watching this 
um, can create even a fight with them right now, right? Like they're gonna be like, oh, well, see, I told you, and we we hit the shoulder, right? Like, hey, you know, I've been telling you about this, and and I, I think that's not the They're end the of this video yeah, or what we're speaking about. Um, we just want to encourage you guys to bring light into the matter and to um, put priority in your marriage. Right, right. And so I shared a quote the other day, and I'm sorry that. I interrupted you. That's okay. Um, and it went, um, the, the more you invest in your marriage, the more valuable it becomes. And I truly believe that. And a lot of times we're investing our time in other things rather than our marriage. And so it don't become priority to us. Um, so. Yeah. So what I was going to say is when you were saying the quote that we are amusing ourselves to death, um, I truly agree with that. I think that there's a lot of things that are being thrown at us um, in our faces. So let's say I open up my phone and the first thing I'm seeing are images, images, constant images. And these are, um, it could be positive images, negative images. It could be people, places, anything. Um, but we have to be careful with the images that we do allow ourselves to see. You know, we have to be careful with the friendships that we are um, ha allowing in our social media. We have to be careful who we are following um, because yeah. it could be somebody really innocent, a sweet person. But if they're constantly putting pictures about themselves... Do you think I want my husband to be looking at a girl constantly taking selfies of herself constantly? No, because why would he need to be opening his phone to look at pictures of people, girls, who are constantly doing selfies? No. That's like me saying... Here, I'm going to give you all these photos. Let Temptation. me give you these photos. You I'm going to put them in your hands so you can constantly be seeing these pictures all the time. Yeah. So, and not that I'm a jealous person. I have never dealt with jealousy. or not, I'm not a jealous person to, um, towards him. Um, but I just want him, me being his wife, I want him to be careful with the things that he would be seeing on his phone. Right. Um, and just to add to that, I think what, what uh, comes into mind when you say that is, again, this is not to cause an argument between you guys, is actually to encourage you guys to live a marriage um, that has wisdom. Um, I think marriages nowadays need a lot of wisdom um, and, and to be wise about the things that we do things that we say, um, the way we act towards one another. And I think that has a big part. How do we use social media in a wise way? Like, um, how can I be wise in, in, in my daily habits with social media? You know, can I use it for positive? Uh, am I following people that are just encouraging me rather than bringing negative things to my marriage? And so those are the things that you guys want to talk about create in your marriage um even are these images feeding my spirit or are they feeding my flesh you know are they feeding what you know tempts me you know are these images things that are gonna tempt me to lust after something you know yeah. that i shouldn't be lusting after you know um we read this book once um and we even did the bible study with our marriage group in our church and one thing we learned is that your spouse is your standard so everything about him is what should attract me and everything about him is what I should be happy with I should be happy with what God has given to me and not be looking out thinking that the grass is going to be greener on the other side because it's not many times the grass is not going to be greener on the other side and here we are not content with what god has given to us right so just to bring a conclusion with this um i will say a couple of things one is that um man be be satisfied in the lord mm -hmm. um so you can be satisfied in your marriage um that's right. so that's a level of contentment that um you would have uh, paul shared in philippians um, 
four thirteen, which says, you know, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this is the the secret that he shared about dealing with the things in life, whether I have much, whether I have little, um, I could do all things through Christ. And so there's a trust in the Lord. There's a dependence in God um, that He knows best, um, and and that we don't know at all. And so. When we see our marriage, we say, thank you, God, for the marriage I have. Be content and satisfied and grow your love for one another through Christ. Um, and, and in that, also, we learn wisdom. We learn wisdom in our marriage. How do I uh, deal with these things that might come up through our social media, negative things that might be brought up? How do I deal with it? And I have to know that her needs are before mine's mm -hmm. and um, um, her happiness is before my happiness and uh, you'll see that when she's happy you'll be happy mm -hmm. and so all those things and, and know um, that our marriage is um, priority in our life and so uh, have wisdom and mm -hmm. be content in the Lord and uh, you'll see that those things at the end of the day you don't need it you don't need it that much in your life. Uh, you'll see that it actually is beneficial to, to let put you go. it away sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, man, we uh, pray and hope that you guys' marriage and relationships continue to grow, and um, that you guys take some time to actually um, speak and talk and communicate with love, not with judgment, but with love. Uh, to one another to be able to uh, continue to grow and flourish mm -hmm. in your marriage. That's our desire for you guys and um, even for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, And just to, to also add um, wisdom and knowledge, um, which is something you preached about um, not too long ago. Um, wisdom is, um, knowledge is knowing something but wisdom is putting that knowledge into action. And so if you know something is bothering your spouse, if you know that being on social media, if you know that something that you're continuously looking at is not good for you, um, then be wise about it. Be wise. Being wise is putting it into action or knowing that is bothering your spouse, then do something about it and put your spouse as priority. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Uh, take care. Uh, please stay in contact with us. Uh, communicate. Let us know what you guys think. And Subscribe. What other topics you want to hear? Big time. All right, love you guys. Take care. God bless.